Hello everyone. I just want to make a real quick video explaining why boat engines and, for example, also airplane engines need to constantly be rebuilt while car engines do not. Now, this is very simple, but it might not be apparent to everyone who, you know, if you don't really know much about engines, you, you wonder why do boat people always talk about engine rebuilds and things like that and hours on the motor? Same with airplanes. Why are hours on the engine so important? Now, let me explain it to you because it's extremely simple. Let's just uh, make a simple example. If you're driving your boat, airplane, or car, say at 50 miles an hour, now you're, you're riding in your boat, or you're riding in your car, and you lay off the gas pedal. What happens if you're on flat ground and you're, you lay off the gas pedal? Your car gradually slows down, and if it's very aerodynamic, and in fact, you may slow down, it may take a little while to slow down. You, you're gonna kind of keep your speed. Now, if you're riding on your boat, the second you, you, know, you lay up the throttle, the second you put the motor into neutral, you're going to go from 50 miles an hour to zero miles an hour really, really fast. This is because the propeller isn't spinning and the water will just it'll stop you. Same with an airplane. Once you get to, I mean, 50 miles an hour is just an example figure. If you're flying an airplane, if you lay off the throttle, the airplane will start falling. So it, the propeller needs to be spinning at constant velocity at all times. Unlike a car, a, a car, the motor half the time isn't working very hard. It, you know, you accelerate to a certain speed, the pistons are going, you know, firing off. And then once you reach that speed, it, it kind of just pushes along and coasts. Now, this is really why you constantly have to rebuild boat and airplane engines because they are being used to their absolute maximum at all times. It's almost as if you were flooring your car at all times as you drove it. Every day you drove it, all you did was floor it. You, 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 you can imagine that if you did that to your car, you'd probably, you know, damage your engine sooner than later. And this is exactly the same. So this is actually why it's also extra bad to abuse the boat engine, because if you think about it, the boat engine is already working very, very hard. It's, you know, it needs to be rebuilt. It's, it's, it's a hardworking engine. So when you push it even more, you're already pushing a hardworking engine. So lay out the throttle, you know, kind of, if you accelerate slower, it really will increase your engine life drastically. And I think that just simply understanding why a car engine lasts so much longer versus a boat or say airplane motor is important. It's really just how hard they work.